but it's quiet outside. That's the thing. Like, I've never, in yeah. what, eight, nine years I've been here, I've never had a beat. Even in the daytime, it's not that quiet. All right, so earlier uh, we heard a woman's voice say that it's not fair, or perhaps you said it's not there. What were you referring to there? It was above us and I feel like it was maybe... There's a platform. Every time you get quiet, is it because there's someone here that's forcing you to be quiet? I'm trying to find out if that soldier died in the war um, and possibly um, maybe that soldier is buried here. Fleetwood Methodist Church, located in Brandy Station, Virginia, has been a landmark for the community for nearly a century. Originally built in 1881, it's believed to have been built over the original Brandy Graveyard, which was also the final resting place for Union and Confederate soldiers who had been treated at a neighboring hospital during the Civil War. During Argos Paranormal's first two investigations at the church in 2018, the team collected a trove of evidence pointing to strong paranormal activity and were also able to confirm that grave desecrations in the 20th century had possibly angered some of the spirits. In February of 2019, Argos Paranormal returned to the church and discovered that its grounds had been damaged by a geological surveyor who had been contracted by the neighboring property. The surveyor had made his way onto the church property and left massive holes and trenches along the church graveyard, where it is believed there are numerous unmarked graves. During the team's investigation that evening, the church and its grounds were eerily quiet. As a result, the team was determined to return at a later date to find out if any of the digging and excavating work had impacted Fleetwood's paranormal activity. Wanna come around to the front of you? So we're trying to uh, get Sally to come out and talk to us, is that it? Absolutely looking for is Nancy Stone when Mrs. Rice. Okay. I know Mrs. Rice is buried here. And you said Nancy Stone? Yeah. And I think if this is the Brandy Graveyard, which I'm 99.99% sure it is. Nancy Stone's in here too. Okay. And two of her daughters. Right now, my old age won't let you know what their, age, what their names are because I forget. <laughs> <laughs> That's pathetic, isn't it? That's all right. I'm, st I'm starting to forget everything now, too, so you don't have to make excuses for me. <laughs> it gets worse. Yeah. She's back here somewhere. Yeah, when we were here in February, we got a little bit of activity back here. Sometimes you will out here, even during the day. Yeah. Which is fascinating. Now see this cemetery goes all the way down into there. I'm gonna take a take a look out here. Oh yeah. And it used to go all the way back into up here to the river. Yeah, so just just beyond there, I think we can make it out in the cameras or the railroad tracks, right? Um, so you're a long-time resident. Do you know when the tracks came in? Were you were they here when you were? They've they've not always been this high. Okay. The railroad came through in 1854. Okay. And it's been here. Oh, so that's been here for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's how Brandy Station got its name. Okay. People would sell brandy to the soldiers during the war. Oh, interesting. 1812. Okay. And then uh, one of the Stone sisters. Her father had died. Yeah. They put the railroad in. And she went, well, 
the depot's in front of my house, so she wrote station underneath that one. <laughs> so it's been that's awesome. Station that's a really great. That's that's good to good to learn about this stuff, you know. Oh, I know the whole history of this place. Yeah, I had to. I just took a deep interest in it. Yeah. No, there's people going to go to that church. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when the team was out here for season one, mm -hmm. they found some graves, right? Right. So is this is this one of them that's marked right here? Mm -hmm. These are the bases for the headstones. Okay. That were here. A lot of them didn't have right bases in okay. the beginning, but you'll see the bases. Yeah. Because they moved the headstones. Somebody came through here and just trashed this place. There's also graves underneath this building. Yeah, no doubt. That's really um, it's really sad. Yeah, because this was a cemetery before it was. Okay. They're disturbed, but they're quiet. Yeah. I don't know what the issue is. So when I was here in February, I, I sort of felt the same way. Um, now we were at the, over at uh, the graffiti house, I was telling you earlier, mm -hmm. I got I got scratched right. there. But when we came over here to the church, it felt more peaceful. Mm -hmm. um, and there's quite a bit more uh, angst or Yes. Anxiousness over at the graffiti well, house. You've got to figure what all went on in there. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's very, uh, it's very still tonight. Even yeah. with all the activity across the road. Yeah. It's very still out here, which is weird. Normally, I'm, it's not this still or quiet. Yeah. It's early too, uh, I think. I think it's still early. <laughs> well, no, you can come over here in the daytime. Okay. And pick up on these guys. Okay, so there's activity during the day even. Okay. Oh, yeah. They don't know the difference between night or day. Yeah. But I learned that being next door. And then when I started coming over here. Interesting. It became more relevant to me that yeah. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. But no, they're, they're quiet to me. Nothing. Just total, total silence. Which is weird. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. You see how the door was over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the answer. So do you think uh, maybe there was like the driveway came through um, this direction, like? And this was like you know, maybe the front of the church at one point? What's funny, okay, there was a building here in 1850 and 1860. Right where the church is? Building. Yeah. Okay. And we can't find any records. Oh, interesting. It's just on the drawings, the plots for the town, yeah. there's a building. Huh. And if you see old pictures of the graffiti house, there was a building. Okay, drawings. but it wasn't a there church. There was a building. No, the church didn't get built till 18, was started in 1880. Okay. And in 1881, it was dedicated. Okay. So, this would have been the door. Yeah. Steve and I always thought that. And then when I showed you the picture of that, you know. Well, yeah, you can. I mean, it's obvious on the inside. A little less obvious out here, unless, yeah, you look at the foundation. This is where the door was. This is how we got into the church. And it was a double door. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is wild, isn't it? You should think that's all original, and it's not. Because the door was there. Yeah, they did a good job sort of mm -hmm. covering it up out here. Well, you figure it was a, it, it wasn't a poor, it was a country church, 
Yeah. But it wasn't really a poor church. Mm -hmm. And you figure when they decided to move it this way to face the road, then they closed this off and did this. Mm -hmm. But it's quiet outside. That's the thing. Like, I've never, in yeah. what, eight, nine years I've been here, I've never had it. Even in the daytime, it's not that quiet. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, you go in there to use the Don's Johns and they bang on the door. And you think somebody, I'll be out in a minute. And there's nobody out there. Yeah, it's the quietest I've ever seen it out there. Hmm. It's him? Yeah, yeah, possibly. No? Is that a no or a hello? My voice is coming through. I'm having a hard time understanding what's going on. Yeah, it's a lot of you. Alright, so it, it seems like there's a lot of you here. Can you go ahead and tell me how many of you are here? How many spirits are here? I think there's like four of you that I could hear. Is that correct? People say. People say. This is six or seven. Can you go ahead and repeat yourself? Not too long ago, someone kept saying um, the word whore. Is there a prostitute here of us? Maybe a prostitute that came from graffiti? Yes, me. Hold on. Nancy Stone, I know you're buried in the Brandy graveyard. So what I need to know... Are your daughters out there with you? So your daughters are out there with you. Wow. I know they were prostitutes. I heard the word terrified. I don't like that one. Neither do I. You know, my name is Ryan. With me is Brian and Denise. We've just come here to learn a little bit more about you because I've been here before and um, some of the other spirits have wanted to reach out to us and tell us their story. So this is your opportunity to come over here and tell us whatever you want us to know. What was the name you just asked for? Nancy. Nancy Stone. Nancy Stone. Yeah. Her daughters are buried out here too. First time we were here, we came into contact with Emily. It was yes. a prostitute from the feet. That's, yes, that's Emily. I can't remember her. I can't remember the sister's names. I'd have to look on my phone. All right, I know Nancy's buried here. And I know your two daughters are buried here. Well, two. What I need you to do is go over there and turn on the flashlight and let me know you're here. We need to know you're here. That's all we're asking for. We need to validate it. Just me, has anyone been hearing walking over there on that balcony? Mm -hmm. Whenever we were talking, I would always hear walking. 
Oh, I don't know y'all. See, I'm, my hearing is, my sinuses are so bad, my head's clogged up, I can't hear well. Give me hearing aids. Hmm? Hmm. So I thought I heard walking at the back door when we, earlier, when we had the spirit box going. I was standing over there next to the door, and I uh -huh. swear I heard somebody walking or shuffling around. Yeah. I saw it. I thought it was your arm moving, so I didn't say anything. Yeah, when well, he had the spirit box going. Yep. And walked right by you. <laughs> I thought it was his arm. I thought it was your arm because you moved your arm. And I thought, oh, it's just his arm. No, there was somebody behind you. Yeah. When I was at my car, I did see a figure walking along that uh, building right there. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was Brian. I was like, wow, he got over there quickly. And when I turned my head and looked that direction, I was like, okay, yeah, that wasn't Brian. No. They roam around here all the time. What? There's a hundred what? hundred something. I What was that? You heard that? Yep. Yes. Where'd you hear it? Over here. I heard, okay, I thought it was over All right, so we just heard the floor creaking. It sounds like that there is um, someone. I thought I just saw something walking through that door. It was just like a ball of light. It wasn't a car light, it was coming towards us. It might be this. I saw the reflection out of the corner of my eye over here. Mm -hmm. They don't seem to be interested in talking to us or communicating with us, but um, I feel like they're pacing around now, mm -hmm. uh, maybe out of curiosity, um, kind of checking us out. Yeah, but do you get that, that sense, Ryan? It does. It, it seems like there are new spirits here. Yeah, because it's different people. It, it's completely different because um, whenever we've been up here, we've always come into contact with an older gentleman. Mm -hmm who um, was a soldier, but he didn't die in the war. So I'm getting the impression that maybe he's buried here, maybe he came to church here after the war. And he always indicated that he was sitting over here. And then there's another soldier who told us he got married here. That doesn't surprise me. All right, I know there's someone here. Can you just go ahead and let us know that you're here by knocking back once like this, nice and loud? There's a Nancy here. Nancy, can you knock once like this? There's a Sally here. Can Sally knock once like this? She's too busy being a brat. Sally, come on. Are you here? Yes, and I'm still smoking. So you can be mad at me about that. But we really need to know you're okay. I've been concerned about you ever since all that stuff went on in the house next door. I know it upset you and I know it scared you. We just need to know you're okay. Because Grandma Luddy misses you. Can you let Denise know that you're okay by just knocking back like this? And I know you can do it. They're gone. It's all of a sudden it's quiet again when it was outside. Can you just go ahead and let us know that you're here by knocking back once like this, nice and loud?
experience. Mm-hmm. They stop for a while. Did you hear that? There's a Nancy here. Nancy, can you? Sally here. Can Sally knock once like this? She's too busy being a brat. <laughs> Sally, come on. Are you here? Yes, and I'm still smoking. So you can be mad at me about that. But we really need to know you're okay. I've been concerned about you ever since all that stuff went on in the house next door. I know it upset you and I know it scared you. You just need to know you're okay. Because Grandma Luddy misses you. Can you let Denise know that you're okay by just knocking back like this? And I know you can do it. Come on, come on. And I know you can do it. And I know you can do it. Come on, come on. anybody here in the room with us right now that wants to communicate with us uh, just cross these dousing rods in front of me just cross them like an X It was like definitely above us. It was above us, and I feel like it was maybe in the platform. In the platform. So the platform is above us. Oh my god! Do you hear that? Yeah. Is that you upstairs right now, right above us? Can you make that sound again? Can you make that sound one more time? It's like a scratching sound, right? Something outnumbered. I keep seeing stuff out, out of the corner of my eye over here, but I... I think it's the laser grid. It moves. It's, oh, sorry. Yeah, I... There's contamination on the outside. Is it correct? Okay, yeah. I'm seeing it like it's like a pattern. I'm seeing it regularly now. Okay. So, someone... It sounded like a female. She said that um, we were going to see some stuff. Um, can you tell us who um, was just trying to speak with us? Is that a Nancy Stone, perhaps? There goes again the knocking. Um, was that Emily who was trying to speak with us? How about Harriet? Who's making that sound? Can you make that sound right now? How many are... Keep getting interrupted. It's like almost every time I try to talk. How many are there of you upstairs? Something Silas? Silas? I suppose. I suppose. Is that Silas upstairs knocking? How many?
many are there of you? The endless crawl. I heard three, yeah. and then two. Two. Are you going to interrupt me? Can you answer some questions for us? Harriet, are you here? Melinda. Right here. Right here? Yeah, I'm okay. hmm? Something help me. Or a big gentleman. Nancy? Or Chuck? Sounds like a child, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Voice. Can you tell us your name again? Yeah. Question. Every time you get quiet, is it because there's someone here? that's forcing you to be quiet? That's amazing. You hear that right? It's like scratching? Yeah. What a heart going. Somebody make that scratching sound again for us, please. Is that it? You hear it? No? We have it. We have it? What do you have? Can you make that scratching sound again for us, please? this right here, but I don't know if it's a moth. Yeah, there's moths in here. That's what oh, I'm okay. watching. Yeah. Okay. Maybe yeah. it's bugs over oh, here. There's several of them. They keep landing on this. It looks like something shooting up out of these lights. <laughs> and it's the moths. Yeah, some of what we've been hearing, Brian, they are the moths. Mainly like the crinkling, the crinkling yeah. sounds. That's yeah. it. The moths. Mm -hmm. I never thought about that. That's yeah. right. That's the moth. Do you know anything about the no the knocking that we that we heard earlier? Uh, if if you know anything about that, can you um, make the dowsing rods touch my arms? Have them swing out away from each other and touch my arms. Please no. Do you know anything about the whispering? We heard some whispering earlier when we were doing EVP sessions. Do you know anything about the whispers? If so, can you move the rods away from each other so that they swing out and touch my arms? No, you know, I'm going to take that as a no as well. Yeah, usually when they go like that, it's yeah. no. Okay. Um, do you want us? Do you, do you want to tell us your name? Do you want to talk to us at all, or do you just want to play around? Do you want to be serious? If so, can you move the rods away from each other so that they touch my arms? I know it's really interesting that you can do that, right? Because it's the first time you're doing this. If so, can you cross the rods? Hmm. First time doing this. Ooh, sorry, I gotta reset. 
bug flew into the side of my head. First time doing this. Yeah, the intent of my question was the first time, like, being able to, like, use the rods. Use rods, but it could be interpreted as anything, like, being able to affect something in the physical world, right? It, it's possible, but, um, assume, assuming that we're talking about the rods, that's interesting because Steve's told me that, um, other investigators who have been here, they've used rods because that seems to be the easiest form of communication with the spirits here. Interesting. So let's dig deeper into the whole, okay. is this is their first time using the rods because I wonder if they're, they're new. Spirit. Yeah, they're new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, could you um, just straighten the rods out for me to let me know that uh, you're interested in communicating? Let's make them straight so they're they're pointing at Denise. Yeah, like that. Okay, are you uh, are you new to this area? There's a, a lot of the spirits that um, we've come in contact with here have used the dousing rods before, right? So are you new here? If so, could you spread the uh, I was going to have you move them away from each other. All right, so you're not new here. So you've been here for a while. To confirm that um, you're not new here, can you point both those rods at me? Point both of those rods at me if you've been at this church for a while. So, are you new to this church? Did you come here fairly recently? If you're new, can you point both those rods at me? That is odd. They're just waving at an X. So earlier you indicated that uh, this is the first time you were doing this. Is that correct? If so, can you point both of these rods at Ryan? There we go. You want to call that pointing at you? Oh yeah, okay. definitely is. All right. Just to confirm, can you point at Denise? So if you are new to using these rods, point both those rods at Denise, who is sitting down to my right. There we go. All right. Hmm. That's because we, I don't know where to go with this, right? Other than they've been here for a while, they had to have used these rods. See, yeah. then every time I've come here, I've used the rods. Yeah. You know, Jason's group, we've used the rods. Yeah, everybody's used the rods that have come in here. You know, almost everybody that I'm aware of. Except for maybe... I don't think they use rods. Unless everybody else does. Um, if you have seen us before, could you move the rods away from each other all the way back so they touch my arms if you've seen us before right either denise or ryan or myself or all three of us right or any of us on our own if you've seen us before can you just move the rods all the way back touch my arms So, I feel, well, hold on a second. I mean, would this count? I wouldn't count it. Okay. Do you feel the energy? Are you asking me? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I feel like something's... Oh, sorry, that was just a moth. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Your reaction to like... Uh, yeah, I definitely feel like 
there's something moving them. Okay. Um, it just feels like unsure, right? Or they like they're unsure. Um, I wonder if it's maybe a child who maybe. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if Sally has ever responded to the rods. I know the other spirits over the house do, but I don't know about. Uh, yeah. Miss Chris. Are you a Are you a man? That's your stomach, right? Mm -hmm. You heard that? Mm -hmm. I heard it. I thought it was your stomach. What no. was that? It's like a growl. Yeah. Are you a Are you a man? That's your stomach, right? Mm -hmm. Are you a Are you a man? That's your stomach, right? Mm -hmm. That was a weird sound. Yeah, it was. Like a stomach growl. Uh, yeah, it sounded like a... Yeah. But it was long. But you remember, we have foxes out here, we have possums, we have raccoons, there's deer, there's skunks. <laughs> yeah, all that's outside. So you, it's hard to tell. Plus we get feral cats out the yin-yang. Mm -hmm. right, that could have been a possibly a feral cat. There's... there's it's a female? Yeah. Flowery. Whatever. Like a floral uh, scent mm -hmm. you're picking up? All right. Yeah. Is this Emily that's here? We've spoken to her quite a bit in this church. Matter of fact, I think the first time I met Emily was in this room right here. And whenever I would go to sit in one of these chairs, I felt a hand pushing me. Is Emily here with us this evening? There you go. What else do we know about Emily? Are your sisters here, Emily? If your sisters are here, Emily, can you turn that light on? Can you turn that light on and keep it on if your sisters are here? How about your mother? Is your mother here? Is your husband here? Emily has a husband. Yes. And his name is Cyrus. Emily. <laughs> that would be amazing, yeah. Emily's husband is Matthew Johnson. Johnson? Yes. The last name? Yeah. She was a stone. Okay. And she was like this way. Yeah. That's she married it. Matthew Johnson. So is, so is your husband Matthew here? Can we assume that? That he's here? Can you turn the light on for me? Or for Denise? Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling they, they don't really, she doesn't like me so much. Maybe. Emily, is Matthew here with you? How about Harriet? Uh, that could have been for Matthew. It could have been for Matthew. Yeah. Because I think it came on before you finished your yeah, question yeah. about Harriet. Who's Harriet? Sister? That's your sister. Okay. How about Harriet? Denise, Denise is wondering if uh, Harriet is here as well. Is she here? Harriet was very well respected in this community. So I would think she'd be buried here with the rest of your family. So is she here? Does Matthew want to talk to us? Is he one of the voices we were hearing earlier in our, in our special box over here? Here she comes. Yeah. Emily. Gotta move. Is your father very here? I know you didn't like your father very much. Is he here? I, I know Harriet. There you go. Harriet. Harriet's here, isn't she? And I know about your dad, so I know about your father. I know what he was. What's the deal with father? The father was a scoundrel. The father, the mother was very wealthy, Nancy. She came from the Vaughn family, and 
very, very wealthy family. And um, when her father died in 1844 or whatever it was, in his will, it states that his daughter Nancy Vaughn Stone gets left X amount of dollars in property and slaves and what have you. But George Stone is not to touch any of it. And George Stone took it off and left Nancy to raise the children that were still at home because he died not long after that. And then in 18... 54, when the train came through, uh, they found out that he had also gambled away the property and the farm. And which one was it? Juliet had to go to the courthouse and get the property back from the lady that he had lost it all to by gambling. So that's what drove Nancy into private entertainment along with her daughters and her nieces. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he was a real jerk. And it can't be assumed that they got into this field of work at the graffiti house? No, it was at their house, um, which is down on the other side of the tracks, down further. It's still there, as a matter of fact, the house is. And, uh, no, she... When Harriet died in 1899, in the 1890s anyway, Harriet died, her obituary is fabulous. She was uh, noted to be the, from the last of the founding members, the founding Stone family members that had founded Brandy Station, and how for years uh, she had ran a boarding house for young women and how she would go around town as she got older and tell stories about her life and things like that. And they just adored her, even though she ran a boarding house for young women. <laughs> K.K. Bothell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how they got into the business, because of their father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of sad. to us. Can you say yes into this silver box in my hand? It's a special box that can record your voice. We heard you earlier. We just want to hear you again. Can you confirm that your name is Silas? Just say yes into the box. There is a, an African-American gentleman uh, that might be um, the groundskeeper here at the church. Uh, we think he was up uh, in the steeple earlier this evening. Do you want to talk to us? Can you tell us your name? There's an Emily. We learned a little bit about you tonight. You have some sisters. Uh, we learned that your husband's name was Matthew. Uh, we contacted you earlier this evening in the other room. Do you wish to speak with us some more? If you do, you can just speak into this box in my hand. If any of you um, are serious, we're gonna play a game where we knock. 
So I'm going to knock on the wall here, and I want you to uh, replicate it. Stop it. There's another growl. Stop the recording and play it back. Yeah. That was another freaking growl. If you're still around and you, and you want to talk to us, can you say yes into this silver box in my hand? It's a special box that can record your voice. We heard you earlier. We just want to hear you again. Can you confirm that your name is Silas? Just say yes into the box. There's a, an African-American gentleman uh, that might be um, the groundskeeper here at the church. Uh, we think he was up uh, in the steeple earlier this evening. Do you want to talk to us? Can you tell us your name? There's an Emily. We learned a little bit about you tonight. You have some sisters. Uh, we learned that your husband's name was Matthew. Uh, we contacted you earlier this evening in the other room. Do you wish to speak with us some more? If you do, you can just speak into this box in my hand. If any of you um, are serious, we're going to play a game where we knock. So I'm going to knock on the wall here, and I want you to uh, replicate it. Stop. Stop. There's there. another growl. Stop the recording and play it. I heard the growl in there. Did you? Okay. I mean, there's definitely a, like a low resonant sound that I can hear. You know, we all hear differently too. So, but yeah, I do. I heard it more clearly than I heard it just now through the speaker playing it back. But I definitely heard it because I remember it registered with me. And right as I would, my brain was like, hey, there's that growl again. You said it. You were like, stop. There's the growl again. And I was getting ready to knock on the wall. Um, so, yeah, that's twice now. It wasn't as long and uh, obvious as the earlier one, but uh, it was definitely there. All right, so earlier uh, we heard a woman's voice say that it's not fair, or perhaps you said it's not there or he's not there. Um, it was when Ryan was on the steps over there um, leading up to the platform. What were you referring to there? If you want to talk to us, can you turn on, uh, use your energy and turn on one of the, uh, the lights over there? You can use the lights. You can also speak into this box in my hand. I'm going to play a game. We played this game a little bit earlier. It's the knocking game. So I'm going to knock on the wall and I want you to replicate it. Make it loud just like this. That light flickered. Did it? Can you knock again to see if it could have been the vibrations? I'm gonna knock again. Are you trying to turn the lights on? Do you like turning on the lights? It was Emily earlier that was turning on the lights, right? Yep. In the other room. Is that you, Emily? Do you want to turn the lights on for us?
I'm going to knock one more time, okay? See if you can copy me. That was my stomach. Cut it. All right, so earlier uh, we heard a woman's voice say that it's not fair. Or perhaps you said it's not there or he's not there. Uh, that was when Ryan was on the steps over there and leading up to the platform. What were you referring to there? What the hell? Is that your stomach again? It's caught on the recording. It came from the speaker. What? That sound that you heard. If you want to talk to us. Sound good. Let me start it over. Yeah. Can you turn Just on, uh, use your energy and turn on one of the uh, the lights over there? Just press any button. So it, it's heard. Mm. Yeah. Is that your stomach? It could have been, but it was definitely from the recording, whatever it was. Because um, I didn't hear your stomach until you said that's my stomach. Right. And was... we're pretty good about saying if it's our stomach. Why are we keep, keep getting growled at? Okay. Press uh, play. You can use the lights. You can also speak into this box in my hand. We'll have to re-listen to it. Yeah. We're going to play a game. We played this game a little bit earlier. It's the knocking game. So I'm going to knock on the wall, and I want you to replicate it. Make it loud, just like this. That light flickered. Did it? Can you knock again to see if it could have been the There was vibrations? a single knock. Yep. I'm going to knock again. Are you trying to turn the lights on? Do you like turning on the lights? It was Emily earlier that was turning on the lights, right? Yep. In the other room. Is that you, Emily? Do you want to turn the lights on for us? I'm going to knock one more time, okay? See if you can copy me. Yeah, so there was talking, and then my stomach growled, and then I said my that was my stomach. Yeah, but your stomach didn't sound like that. No, yeah, no, it was definitely <laughs> a different sound. And you know what's weird? Because be, I didn't hear it before. I, don't, I only heard my stomach growling, and then I said that was my stomach. But this time I actually heard it, yeah. When the light was on, my shirt was getting pulled. Well, I felt a very cool breeze over in here. Um, I've been hearing, a, a, while we've been doing this, Walking. There's been creaking or something going on with a door. This looks like it was a door at one point, or it still is, but I don't know. If yeah, it's still a door, and it there's a door on the other side of it, which is over here. Okay. But it's not like in a room. It's not like they use it, right? Um, Correct, because, um, so here's the thing, the front of the church used to be back here, yeah. but um, because that's where the railroad was. Right, that makes and sense. And they had to do it at the front, and I think when, uh, yeah, when this road was being built, they moved everything to the opposite end. Got you. So. That makes sense. So I was, yeah, I've been hearing some noise here the whole time we've been playing this back, right? And, and I felt this really uh, cool draft um, just a moment ago.
um, and we believe this may be home for that soldier. Uh, we're trying to find out if that soldier died in the war um, and possibly um, maybe that soldier is buried here. If anybody knows anything about that, uh, could you just say yes into this box? Yeah, there's definitely, I mean, 